Here's my book review of An Object of Beauty by Steve Martin. You may already know that actor-comedian Steve Martin not only writes gags and skits, but also screenplays, plays, and several books. An Object of Beauty is a humorous novel about a scheming young woman making her way in the Aristo world of New York art galleries. Oh, and you can add art connoisseur, historian, and collector to Martin's credentials. He has his own multi-million dollar private collection. Main character Lacey Yeager is a looker with brains who has no qualms about sleeping her way to the top of the art world rat heap. She is sexy, clever, manipulative, shameless, and almost totally heedless. In this story, she goes from being a newbie intern to proprietor of her own trendy gallery. And along the way, she goes through boyfriends almost as often as the Manhattan fashion trends shift. There's the serious, caring, metrosexual journalist, a gallery owner or two, a pop artist, a rich playboy broker who may be a scammer, and an FBI agent. You'll learn a lot about art, how it's made, how it's valued, and what's in and what's out. Lacey is one of those characters whose outrageous attitudes don't fail to fascinate. She'll hold your attention and keep you guessing what clever ploy she'll try next. But oddly enough, for a book so well-crafted, there are several major plot threads that simply go nowhere or are resolved in uninteresting ways. Did Martin get bored with them? Or did he decide those yarns would be too much of a hassle to spin out or explain? Or is he somehow saying... That's life. That situation you're worried about might not turn out as you expect. In fact, it might not go anywhere at all. For example, I'm dying to know whether there's a Rembrandt under that Russian painting. So if you happen to run into Steve in the grocery store, please ask him for me. Gerald Everett Jones is the author of Bonfire of the Vanderbilts and host of the Get Published Radio Show. 